A former teacher at a Green Bay Elementary School is accused of sexually assaulting one of his students. Now 57-year-old Jer Lavage is facing criminal charges. Good evening, everyone. That man worked at Sullivan Elementary School. And police are saying that he inappropriately touched and kissed an 8-year-old girl on multiple occasions. Tonight, Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has the latest. The Green Bay School District says it's shocked a longtime employee has been charged with sexual assault of a child. I think it's very troubling when this information comes forward to everyone. Court documents show an eight-year-old girl told two of her teachers at Sullivan Elementary in February about the alleged incidents. She says her English as a second language teacher, Jure Lavage, had been kissing her, hugging her, and touched her. As the law requires, the teachers then reported what they had been told. Once the uh, mandatory reporter had reported the incident, uh, Jure was then suspended. And when did that happen? Uh, that happened on February 13th. The girl says Lavage touched her two different times. It allegedly happened in his ESL classroom. Lavage worked in the district since 1996, previously at Howe, Fort Howard, and Langlaid schools. He had been at Sullivan Elementary since 2010. The district says he has no prior issues and had cleared a background check. Lavage's attorney, Peter Hine, told us he can't comment on the case. As soon as charges were filed, the district says it moved quickly to notify parents. And on Monday morning, we sent a robocall to the parents of Sullivan to inform them that Jer had been arrested and that um, he was no longer in school. Some parents picking up their children at Sullivan Tuesday don't think the school district is to blame. As parents, we teach our kids stranger danger and inappropriate touch when they're growing up. I can't blame the school, you know, the entire school for one incident with a bad teacher. Lavage is held on a $50,000 bond. Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. And Lavage's next court date is set for next Tuesday.